Alright guys, uh, this video really is going to be about my new shop that you can see right behind me. So, I just, I mean, it, it ain't cheap in these this day and age. We had to pay for all this cement. Um, and they had to build, you kind of see over here how much they had to build the ground up. So, in addition to the cement, I paid for this. It is uh, 35 by 40. Um, and I, I did get the um, little bubble insulation on it, but that's it. And I want to say after tax and all that, um, it was like fourteen, fourteen thousand dollars. I want to say, so not too bad. I just got my electrical installed. I did that myself, and I uh, got it where I got one light that turns on and off. <laughs> so, but it's more than enough to. Um, to get us in here and if you remember i got these shelves from sam's i got a video on those i do reselling so that's what all this is <clears throat> this area i gotta hurry up and figure out these boxes because in the south that might as well be as good as a biscuit on the floor to a cockroach um and then i got this this i want to kind of keep clear if i want to pull a car in here and work on it i got a trailer coming in so got a little bit of cleaning to do and then I got some of my tools and stuff over there now what I want to tell you about the building is I don't know if there's an option for a to put down something in between the cement and this piece because when it rains even though this is elevated I think it's just a splash and the wicking effect i still get some moisture the presence of moisture it's not like i get water pools but i get the presence of moisture right here now this is down on the cement you can see right here no overhang okay so what they suggest is you get overhang like this um even in these areas that have overhang, so this right here and all this back here, I get the same the same amount of moisture wicking. So I can see it throughout the entire, um, all around the base of the building. Uh, I don't think it's coming in from the top, you know, that evenly either. But overall, I do I do like it. I do like it. Um, you know, it's not like I would lay down hardwood floors in here, but I would like to lay down some floors and not have the glue messed up. So I haven't really found a lot about isolating the floor to prevent water from coming in. Just like holes up there and stuff like that. A lot of people use spray foam uh, and things such as that. Uh, but as you can kind of see, I don't know if you can... Let me see if I can show you that there are air gaps like this thing isn't airtight and it's not like the most perfect build in the world see that so you can obviously tell that there is some air up there and that's not as tight to the ceiling and you can kind of see down here as well but my overall sorry let me get you back bring me to the light my overall impression for what I spent during this period of time, this is, I bought this at uh, basically the height of um, the COVID, but uh, I really didn't have a choice. We, we don't have any storage in the South. You don't have a basement. Um, I only have one garage. So you really have, you know, you kind of got to buy your basement separate from your house. So we kind of knew that we had sold our house in Colorado and we said put a put aside some because we knew we were going to need some sort of storage. So it wasn't, you know, you're like, oh, you spent all that money. Uh, not really. It was kind of part of the house package. So it was just how much we spent on the house. Other than that, I enjoy it. These doors are super easy to roll up. I don't know if you could ever put a, uh, did a one hand. <laughs> I don't know if you could ever. And they're balanced these guys know what they're doing man they put this thing up in like two days they're not playing around they got it up insulated all done 
two days these guys know exactly what they're doing and you can see how many beams they had to put up everything oh and everything works perfect so i was satisfied with the structure itself but you really got to plan out your power you got to plan out any type of water you want you got to pull the right permits um in south carolina i want to say anything over 200 square feet or 400 anything over 400 square feet you got to pull a permit so we did we pulled our permit so and then you should pull a permit for electrical and all that kind of stuff too if you want all that stuff in there so you can pull as many permits as you want but for the structure itself they are gonna get you if you don't pull a permit right you don't necessarily have to pull a permit for the other stuff but uh, when the city guy drives the county guy drives by he gonna see a building and start asking some questions other than that uh, go ahead and fire away some questions if you got any questions but the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that um like i said when it rains and it's not just here you know because you're thinking oh well you got cement there this definitely slopes down definitely slopes down this pad is approximately one inch higher than my drop my um garage so this is the highest point on the property right now so there should be no water coming this direction so somehow it's wicking splashing something up there and the, the only reason i mentioned that is maybe somebody else will watch it and see but if you're in the market for a metal building i would uh i think it's good i, I mean but go big go bigger i wish i would have built i wish i would have had the money to build a 40 by a 60 or 60 by 100 it is uh you never have enough room my garage I, I emptied everything out of my garage my garage is still full and now i got a full shop so i'm not sure what my plan was <laughs> so don't forget to like comment subscribe we got all kinds of stuff coming at you this summer i'm gonna try to stick with you at least every tuesday at the minimum so just see what see what we're up to we do reselling we do anthill castings if you haven't seen an anthill casting go uh just search for one of my anthill castings. I'm sure I got one suggested in this video somewhere. Uh, I got reselling videos as well. And just, we're gonna have fishing videos. We're gonna have everything. Definitely those three cars right there. The Cadillac, the Forerunner, and the Toyota. We got all kinds of maintenance instruction on those. And we also have a John Deere tractor. So about maintenance on that. So, and lawnmowers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it.